I want to get at the topic of financing mortgage lending. And I'll start at a very generic level talking about financial intermediation. So financial intermediation just means that you have intermediaries who bring together savers and borrowers. So savers, who could be people in the United States, they could be people overseas, and uh, <clears throat> there could be many layers of intermediaries between savers and borrowers. Uh, you, you could have insurance companies, pension funds. And people often talk as if the pension funds were doing the saving, but uh, ultimately it, you really ought to think of it as in, individual households doing the saving, and of course individual households doing borrowing. So the so the savers have certain characteristics that they want of their uh, for their savings. In particular, we can focus on the term. That is, do they want their <clears throat> um, their money back after one month, thirty years, fifty years? What's the term? So months, years. And they have a tolerance for risk versus return. So they have a risk return trade off preference. Borrowers, in the case of mortgage, have a, um, have a 30 year mortgage that can be prepaid at any time, either because you sell the house or because you decide to refinance the house. The term is uncertain. It could be up to 30 years, and it's really at the borrower's choice. And the <coughs> the risk, there are kind of the two risks that we talk about. Uh, there's a default risk. And there's an interest rate risk which comes from the possibility that interest rates will rise and you'll, um, the lender will then feel unhappy that they've tied up their money for 30 years at a low rate or interest rates will fall and the uh, borrower will prepay. So the so who, as a saver, wants to lend under these terms? Who has a preference for an uncertain term that could be up to 30 years that's the borrower's choice? Well, you know, essentially nobody wants to do that. And so that's why intermediaries become very important in mortgage lending. There's no, almost no individual mortgage lending that takes place, at least not with like a 30-year repayable mortgage. So, so that's how we get intermediaries, but intermediaries are going to offer savers things that they that they want. So, in the uh, 1960s, when we had savings and loans, the savers the term was get your money out at any time. So, if you had a savings deposit, you could withdraw at any time, or if you had a certificate of deposit. It might be a six-month certificate, or a one-year, or a three-year certificate of deposit. So the term was either any time, you could withdraw your money at any time, or it was for very fixed and relatively short terms. <clears throat> when Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae uh, took over a lot of the, the intermediary function, what they settled on was typically a terms of, uh, well, they use callable debt. So you have a term of, with callable debt, you could have it, the ter term could be as long as 10 years, but the, uh, <clears throat> but the, it can be prepaid after five years if interest rates have, uh, have fallen. So it's a, it's a, there's a little bit of term uncertainty with callable debt, and there's, um, 
and the, the term typically is never as long as, as 30 years. So that's another way of intermediating. So when the intermediary offers something with different term and also typically different risk, that is uh, when you put your money into a savings and loan, you're not going to bear the default risk. Uh, someone else is going to bear the default risk on the mortgage. Similarly, if you invest in a Freddie Mac mortgage security, you're not going to bear the default risk. Uh, Freddie Mac <coughs> uh, shareholders are the first in line uh, to bear the default risk on the mortgage. So the so what the intermediaries do is transform the risks and the characteristics of mortgages into something else that the savers get and then the intermediaries then I want to say that intermediaries are bearing the risk but of course it's shareholders and other creditors of intermediaries so let's put their shareholders their creditors and then if they need a bailout it may be the taxpayers that are end up uh, bearing risk in the process of this financial intermediation. So what the financial intermediaries do is transform the term of the mortgage by, I mean the, the mortgage of course has the same term but from the savers point of view they get a different term in their in their investment they get a they get a, a long-term bond in the case of Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae <coughs> or an intermediate term bond or the, in the case of a savings and loan funding it they get a very short-term instrument and then the um, and they also the intermediaries also transfer some of the risk initially going to shareholders creditors and taxpayers but the a lot of this risk gets passed around it doesn't necessarily stay with any one institution and that's what I'm going to talk about next <laughs>